Because they spend their lives on the wrong side of the law, moonshiners are always on the lookout for trouble. And when it comes to trouble, a boiler full of flammable vapor is top of the list. But could a still really explode and take a shack down with it? Feeling like making some alcohol? And blowing some stuff up. Yeah, let's fire up the boiler. Well, first, they've got to build their still house. That's a floor, let's screw it down. Yeah. It's a quick and dirty shack that's got three walls in no time. There it is! And a clear fourth wall to ensure they get their boom with a view. Everything's really clear. So now to bring in the still. If this is a story about an exploding still, what is it exactly that is supposed to make the still explode? Well, as the mash burns and alcohol is produced, particulate matter can actually build up inside this thing and cause a clog. Now, when that clog happens, all of a sudden you end up with alcohol with no outlet, and that makes it become a pressure vessel. And we all know what happens on Mythbusters when a pressure vessel fails. Oh! How am I going to induce that clog in the still? With this, a simple half-inch copper cap soldered to the only outlet for the alcohol. That is perfect. Now, once we've eliminated its outlet and start to heat it up, it will find its own way out. The question we're going to answer with that experiment is, how bad will it be? Still's warming up. Now we wait. The wait begins. But will this be the shining scenario that finally brings the still house down? Starting oxygen reading is 20.9. Our butter zone will be between 19.5 and 20. That's the explosive ratio. And inside the shack, the oxygen level is slowly inching towards it. Ah, it's down to 20.3. We can't see the vapor, but it, it apparently is displacing oxygen, 20.2. The guys prepare to bide their time as the ethanol fumes fill their hut. Wow, things are happening in there. Our feed over here is getting fuzzy. But after just five minutes, the air to moonshine mixture hits their explosive goal. It's 19.5. All right, that's the ideal ratio, shall we? Yeah, let's see what happens. OK, here we go. Moonshining still explosion. Well, we ignition. <laughs> In three, two, one. Whoa! That was an explosion. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, the still huffed and puffed and blew the house down. That worked perfectly. That worked absolutely perfectly. Let's go check out the damage. OK. Ah, it looks like the still's holding the building up. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that. And it did blow apart the building as well as lift it off the foundation. It did, but not five feet like I predicted, more like one foot. Every single thing we investigate on Mythbusters has to do with the transfer of energy from one state to another, from one form to another, from one place to another, often rapidly and hopefully with disastrous results. So just check this out and watch how the rapid combustion of all the alcohol fumes in the shack causes it to expand. The inrush of oxygen causes fire to just appear almost everywhere. The corona of flame around the perimeter as the atmosphere is combining with the oxygen and the gas fumes in order to set everything on fire, as well as the total destruction of the shed. This is the best part of the job. <laughs>